thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. They did their no job. one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Um, assistant. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. <laughs> I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Investigate the attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Okay. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Um, Beacon. Can you tell me anything about the Beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please, this isn't the time. Goodbye. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling, the darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel, go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. <laughs> You're wasting your time. The age of humanity is over. Our extinction is inevitable. I have questions. Manuel, I need to ask you something. It's probably best if you just leave him alone. Okay. I don't have time for this. Time? Our time is over. Um, let's see, we want to check out this one here. Open the crate. Take all these. Omni gel. It used to be beautiful here. Um, this way. Let's go to the inventory. Let's see what I've got. Okay, so that's that. Still trying to get used to this. Um, shotgun. Nothing. Pistol. Nothing. Sniper rifle. Nothing. Grenade launcher. Nothing. Armor. I'm confused. So I've got. Aha! Damage, just more damage. Less accurate. I prefer accuracy to damage, I think. Yes, 
definitely want that one, I think. You. You can have this one. Actually, what are you? Let's say. Armor. Yes. We've got new armor. What's this? 17631 17 14 63 10 I'll equip you This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. Don't trust him. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Don't trust him. Ugh. What is that? Off in the distance. Look at the size of it. Power icon. This one. Stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? It's safe. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the shed. Investigate. Beacon. 
Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Attack details. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Ship. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I didn't think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. Is it a jamming signal? It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. Goodbye. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. What's going on? You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But they'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Is that all? We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He, may he might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. Goodbye. I have to go. Good luck. Anything in here? Combat sensor. Manual bypass. Um, let's go in here. Haha. -ha. Take it all. Where are we now? Next to the train station. Why am I wearing pink? Containment cell? Commander, it's Nihilus. Ready, Jill. Whoa, what is going on? Basic rounds, I'm eight rounds, take all. Everybody heal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Other one? What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Cole mentioned you. Your Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No. I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler. Who cares? My supervisor's dead. The entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Smuggle any weapons? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? 
A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Let it go. Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Um, investigate. The ship. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Woke you up? You were sleeping? I thought you were working here on the docks. I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> Lucky break for you. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Investigate. Beacon. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Let's go. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Dead then, we're not restore his life. Any 
Ready, Joe. Can we heal you? Yes. And again. Drain controls. Oh, I'm going to call that it for now and see how well that turned out. I shall see you later, guys.